Hey everyone, I'm so excited that you're joining us for another beautiful Sunday. Before we jump into our lesson this week, I have some questions for you guys to answer for yourselves at home. Have you ever had to be really brave? Have you ever had to stand up to a bully before? You have to be brave, right? Being brave in scary situations can be really hard. We might feel like we'll fail or we'll get hurt. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to learn about what happened to a young man named David. He had to be really brave, but he knew God was on his side. You guys know the story I'm talking about, right? In today's lesson, we're going to learn about a famous story in the Bible about David and Goliath. David was the youngest son in his family, and his job was to take care of the family's sheep. David was a shepherd boy. His older brothers were soldiers in King Saul's army. Now, David would go out to visit his brothers on the battlefield to bring them food and supplies, but one day, David went to the battlefield and heard this big giant teasing the Israelite army. His name was Goliath, and he was huge and a really mean dude, like nine feet tall worth of mean. That's like as tall as your guy's house. The Israelite soldiers were afraid of him, and Goliath knew it. So he taunted the Israelites, telling them to come out and to fight him. He said that if they beat him, the Philistine people would do whatever the Israelites wanted. David heard what Goliath was saying, and he was angry that nobody was brave enough to fight Goliath. So little shepherd boy David told King Saul that he would gladly fight the giant on behalf of the Lord God. David knew that God was on his side, so he wasn't afraid. He picked up his slingshot and some rocks and went out to face Goliath. Now, a slingshot back then wasn't like these high-tech slingshots. Slingshots back then were just strips of cloth or leather that you swung around like a crazy person and had to let go at the perfect moment. Honestly, it's really hard to aim with these old-fashioned ones. So David took his slingshot and he put a rock in the sling and he slung it at Goliath and hit him square in the middle of his forehead. Crazy, right? The giant fell and the Israelite soldiers couldn't believe it. Here's the point, you guys. David knew that God was with him, so he was brave. And that's why he could be brave when the soldiers weren't. Goliath was teasing the Israelites and telling them that they were weak. David didn't like that because he knew God was on their side. That was God's army. So David decided that he had to defeat the big giant and show everyone just how powerful God is. And that's what he did. Little shepherd boy David defeated big, mean, nine-foot-tall Goliath. And it was all because he had God on his side. God helped David to be brave and gave him the power to take Goliath down. 1 Samuel 17, 47 says, this is the Lord's battle. Just like David, we have God on our side. Sometimes we'll face tough battles in our lives. Not battles where we have to fight a giant, but things like bullies at school, moving to a new place, or not making a team, or even going through what we're going through right now. We can be brave in those battles and know that we can win because God is with us. We don't have to face the hard things in life alone, and we can trust that God will help us overcome anything so we can be brave like David. Well, that's all I have for today, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all our different channels on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and please reach out to us, you guys. We miss you so much. And if you comment to us, we can comment back to you. And also, just a little hint for you guys, next week is Mother's Day. And all week, we're going to have fun little challenges for you guys that are going to be posted to our Facebook page and Instagram that you guys can just honor and glorify your mom in the way that God wants us to. We love and we miss you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you guys next week for our Mother's Day lesson. Bye, guys.